The UK has funded a national programme in quantum technologies over 10 years, and as part of that programme, it's funded four hubs in different aspects of quantum technologies. Now, the hub that I'm in is the hub in quantum computing and simulation. So that deals with looking at how you can build computers using quantum effects. These are transformative technologies that could really change the way we do many computing problems. The UK National Quantum Technology Hub in Sensors and Timing focuses on using atomic probe particles as the sensing element, which is the quantum bit, uh, so that we don't have manufacturing tolerances and get the highest possible precision. Well, our hub focuses on quantum communications, and our big vision, if you like, is to produce secure quantum communications at all length scales. So that's very short distance, so handheld devices for consumers and the like, intermediate distances, fibre networking around cities and between cities, and then longer distance, so uh, up to satellites and down again, so we can get the longest distances and indeed worldwide. So Quantic is a collaboration bringing together leading UK scientists from eight institutions with over 14 industry partners. What we're trying to do is develop new imaging technology to tackle outstanding challenges in different areas such as healthcare, defence and security, climate change and space. In real terms, what we're trying to do really is seeing the invisible. Collaborations are at the heart of what we do in the hub. So of course we collaborate with each other as scientists, but we collaborate with industry, end users, government. It's all about developing an ecosystem. Academia, industry, government stakeholders, research and technology organizations, policy makers, everyone is talking to each other and the NQTP makes sure like all the connections are made. So and the hubs benefit greatly from that. Of course, there is the underpinning research in STFC and EPSRC where like, the hubs pull new ideas from. So the whole connection of the program, making things move smoothly from idea into like, prototypes is really enabled just by this coherence. There's already been quite a lot of activity in the startup sector in quantum computing and simulation. So within the hub, a number of our hub members also have startup companies. We also have mechanisms within the hub which allow us to seed new ideas, expand our partnership, work with industry. And those have been quite successful in the past of taking these early ideas to the next stage where they've got further funding, perhaps from Innovate UK, and then those funded projects have then become startup companies which then raise capital and now are starting to grow. There has been the creation of a spin-off uh, joint venture between University of Nottingham and Magnetic Shields Limited, which is called Circa, and it's building magnetic brain scanners to look into like the brain function. This is now being sold twice internationally and so that is really taking off massively now and beside that uh, we're now having a prototype gravity radiometer which starts to see underground signatures outside of the lab so can be really used for trials it's becoming real now that's what makes me really fascinated and some are moving in companies so notably in phase one we had uh, the startup ket spun out from the university of bristol one of our hub partners and KET's focus on putting uh, quantum communications technology and quantum optical technology on chip. And clearly on chip is the way forward for mass manufacture. So when it comes to commercialization, I think there's never one size that fits all. So we have a range of different products that we are trying to commercialize. And good examples are the two gas imaging cameras that at the moment we're um, developing. And one has been a spin out from a one of our partner institutions at the University of Bristol and is QLM and that has been initially funded with, uh, by Quantic and then has been taken forward by the Enterprise Centre at Bristol. And another example instead is the gas sight camera, which we have developed in collaboration with M-squared Laser and is most likely going to commercialise this through that route.